You know, anything I do is through love. That's what I evolved to be. And that's what I'm doing right now. You feel me? The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs. In a stunning turn of events, Sean Diddy Combs has vanished without a trace, leaving fans and authorities alike scrambling for answers. Reports suggest that the rap icon has fled the country amid a federal investigation into sex trafficking. But where exactly is Diddy hiding? Recent flight records initially pointed towards Antigua, raising hopes of locating the elusive star. However, insiders on the island quickly debunked these rumors, leaving us all in suspense. Video footage surfaced of Diddy pacing nervously at a Miami airport, sparking further speculation about his whereabouts. I guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. I know. Intriguingly, sightings of Diddy at his Miami estate depict a man under immense pressure. Witnesses describe tense phone calls and reflective moments, suggesting he's grappling with more than just legal troubles. Could these traumatic encounters hold the key to Diddy's sudden disappearance? As the investigation intensifies and allegations swirl, join us as we uncover the truth behind Diddy's cryptic retreat and the explosive events that led him to vanish into thin air. Stay tuned for more shocking revelations in this unfolding saga. Where in the world is Sean Diddy Combs? Guys, it was packed here at his home yesterday with Homeland Security agents, though it's still unclear where he was during the time of those raids. First of all, before we get to the exclusive insider information we received, let's break down all the details about what has been going on in Diddy's life lately. The recent Homeland Security raids on his properties have sent shockwaves through the entertainment world. Authorities executed simultaneous searches at his Los Angeles and Miami homes on Monday, March 25, 2024 as part of an ongoing investigation into sex trafficking allegations. Shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information. These raids conducted by Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, with assistance from multiple agencies, were a highly coordinated effort. A spokesperson for HSI confirmed the execution of law enforcement actions, signaling a significant escalation in legal scrutiny. Local news outlets captured dramatic scenes showing federal agents swarming Diddy's properties while several individuals, including his sons Justin and King Combs, were detained outside. Although Justin and King were not implicated in the investigation, their involvement added intrigue to the unfolding drama. Amidst this chaos, Diddy was conspicuously absent, fueling speculation about his whereabouts and motivations. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say. Flight records initially suggested Diddy might have fled to Antigua, leading to a frenzy of rumors and hopes of a breakthrough in locating the elusive star. However, these hopes were quickly dashed as insiders on the island debunked the notion. Meanwhile, a puzzling video surfaced from TMZ showing Diddy pacing nervously at a Miami airport shortly after the raids. The footage portrayed a man under immense pressure, raising questions about his state of mind amidst the legal turmoil. Despite the intense scrutiny, Diddy remains resolute. Sources close to the music legend reveal that he is still in the United States, dispelling rumors of an international escape. The LA Times reported that Diddy had initially planned to depart on a spring break vacation with his daughters, but postponed the trip upon learning of his searches. These developments suggest a calculated response from Diddy, who is likely strategizing amidst mounting legal challenges. In the wake of the raids, Diddy's legal team vehemently denounced the actions as excessive. Attorney Aaron Dyer characterized the search as a witch hunt, citing what he described as a gross overuse of military-level force. Dyer's statement underscores the aggressive tactics employed by law enforcement, raising concerns about the manner in which the investigation is being conducted. Mm -hmm. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect. Meanwhile, the allegations against Diddy continue to reverberate. Former girlfriend Kessie Ventura's lawsuit, which accused Diddy of sexual and physical abuse during their relationship, adds a troubling dimension to the unfolding saga. Ventura's claims, including accusations of coercion, cast a dark shadow over Diddy's public persona. Furthermore, other women have come forward with similar allegations, painting a disturbing picture of systemic misconduct. The lawsuits allege a pattern of abuse spanning decades, implicating not only Diddy, but also individuals within his inner circle. These revelations have sent shockwaves through the music industry, prompting soul-searching and calls for accountability. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. Now, breaking down the latest insider information from journalists and Diddy's close circle of contacts reveals intriguing details about the rap mobile's disappearance. It's confirmed that Diddy indeed fled abroad, aware of imminent legal consequences. According to sources within law enforcement, Diddy's flight was a calculated move upon learning the severity of potential charges he faced. 
Insiders suggest that Diddy orchestrated a daring escape utilizing available resources to cash out significant sums of money prior to his disappearance. During the Homeland Security raids on his properties, authorities discovered a disturbing truth. The contents of Diddy's safe were notably absent. Valuables and salubles and sensitive materials reportedly kept close by him mysteriously vanished. This revelation underscores the meticulous planning behind Diddy's retreat. Repeat with very, very serious and salacious allegations, uh, including allegations that uh, Combs had cameras throughout his- While communication with his lawyer remains his only lifeline, Diddy's absence is notable due to the absence of an official arrest warrant. His location remains a subject of intense speculation. Sources claim Diddy's escape route led directly to Antigua, an island known for its discreet retreats. Rumors abound that he's taken refuge somewhere within the Caribbean, blending seamlessly into the island lifestyle under an assumed identity. The narrative of a well-prepared escape gains traction as reports surface of Diddy's meticulous planning. It suggested that he methodically established his getaway, anticipating potential legal entanglements. This unplanned retirement, if proven true, paints a portrait of a man grappling with overwhelming pressures and seeking solace far from the public eye. Uh, this is just crazy. Just read, read. However, as Diddy's whereabouts remain shrouded in mystery, there's a growing cohort that may be hunting him down with even more fervor than federal agents. His associates left in disarray by his sudden departure. Among these figures are Justin Combs, Diddy's son and a rising influencer in his own right, and Lucian Grange, the CN Grange, the CEO of Universal Music Group, both named in recent legal actions against the rap mogul. The latest lawsuit, spearheaded by Rodney Lil Road Jones, presents a sprawling web of accusations that envelops not only Diddy, but a constellation of notable industry figures. Jones' suit, which spans a staggering 73 pages, features a litany of defendants. From Young Miami to prominent record labels like Love Records and Motown, the inclusion of Justin Combs and Lucian Grange underscores the expansive scope of this legal maelstrom. Um, this lawsuit is so long, it's so many, like, it's so many things that, you know, he's claiming Diddy did. Central to Jones's claims is the invocation of the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, RICO, a formidable legal tool designed to dismantle criminal enterprises. This statute transforms the lawsuit into a potential seismic event, threatening to ensnare numerous high-profile individuals within its ambit. With Diddy's calculated exit, these associates now find themselves thrust into the spotlight, grappling with the implications of a sprawling legal saga. The allegations put forth in Jones's lawsuit paint a harrowing picture of systemic abuse and exploitation within the music industry's upper echelons. Jones's accusations against Diddy include claims of repeated sexual assault and coercion, implicating a wide array of individuals in a web of alleged misconduct. Moreover, the suit introduces troubling accounts of substance trafficking and other illicit activities, casting a shadow over the inner workings of Diddy's empire. Yeah, I think he's being, he, they're making a day, he's being humbled right now which it took a long time. It takes a long time to humble an arrogant person. Against this tumultuous backdrop, Diddy's disappearance takes on a new dimension, suggestive of a figure navigating treacherous legal waters. As federal investigators pursue leads in pursuit of the rap icon, the specter of Rico looms large, threatening to unravel entrenched networks of influence and power. For Justin Combs, Lucian Grange, and others named in Jones's lawsuit, the stakes have never been higher. As the drama unfolds, questions linger about the potential fallout from these seismic legal actions. Will Diddy's associates stand firm amidst mounting pressure, or will cracks begin to appear within the industry's power structure? With the specter of Rico looming ominously, the saga of Sean Diddy Combs enters a new phase, one defined by legal complexity and the relentless pursuit of justice. As we delve deeper into the enigmatic disappearance of Sean Diddy Combs, public sentiment is ablaze with speculation and scrutiny. The unfolding saga has sparked a storm of fan commentary, reflecting a spectrum of opinions on Diddy's sudden retreat amidst mounting legal troubles. One fan, referencing past allegations, ominously warns, karma has no expiration date. Remember that woman said he shot her in the face back in 99 and he lied and had Shine take the fall? This sentiment underscores a prevailing skepticism towards Diddy's actions, highlighting unresolved controversies from his past. Another theory posits a meticulously orchestrated escape plan, as one commentator suggests. I think that his jet was a distraction with a pilot only to buy extra escape time. He probably was on another jet rented at Ventura Airport for Valley. Echoing suspicions of inside knowledge, another commenter speculates, Yes, I believe someone tipped Diddy off. That's why he wasn't there. Diddy will not survive this. He is considered a fugitive. This viewpoint underscores broader sentiments of distrust towards the unfolding legal drama and its central figure. Amidst the sea of opinions, a common thread emerges, uncertainty and skepticism. While some fans express condemnation, anticipation, and anticipation of legal repercussions, others delve into conspiratorial narratives speculating on the intricacies of Diddy's alleged escape. 
Now, as we navigate through this compelling narrative surrounding Sean Diddy Combs, we invite you to share your thoughts and insights on this gripping saga. What's your take on Diddy's disappearance amidst these mounting legal allegations? Do you believe in the theories circulating about his escape plan? Join the conversation by leaving your comments below. Until next time, keep engaging and let's uncover the truth together.